Now I want to show you how to finish your braiding. Um, and because I'm trying to do this, I'm going to try and do this really close to the um, camera. It's easier to do with my sample piece than it is to, to hold the whole wallet. But it, it's exactly the same process regardless of how big your panel is. Usually when I'm doing it myself, I tend to hold it quite close to my body, um, which <laughs> doesn't make for a, a very good video. So um, I've just done my braiding down the side of my sample piece. And this is only two layers of, of faux leather. It's actually easier with the extra layers that you've got on your wallet um, because the, the each of these um, stitches that you've got around the outside are slightly larger so we've gone down to the last hole so we've, sti we've stitched through each hole and gone down to the last hole so I'm going to come in at the back of the last hole and I'm going to use my my faux needle to come in through the back of the last hole if you just loosen that last stitch slightly it makes it a little bit easier and when I come in, back in again, I'm coming into the centre between the layers and on top of that first stitch. So I can pull that tight. And you can see that it's come on top of that stitch. Now I'm going to go in over the top of that stitch and up through The next mm, four or five stitches so underneath the stitching effectively I'm taking my needle so that it kind of sits underneath the stitching that will be quite snug and quite tight pull it tight then you can off the end of your thread now I like to just push that piece of braiding between the layers and because you've got more layers on your wallet than, the, than I've got here that makes it a little bit easier um, and just kind of push them in slightly so you can't see it now if you wanted to put a little bit of glue onto a um, stiletto or something like that just to hold that in place you can do just level, level out your stitches once you've got it all kind of in place and that is your final final stitch done that's not very even because it was just a sample it has to be said um, you can take a little bit more care than I have um, it's also easier with, um, with the extra thickness because you've got places you can hide your um, stitching. Um, this is the one that I was playing with and I've done a double row of braiding. So I've done exactly the same thing, but done it twice. So I've got one in green and one in white and you can see that they cross over on the sides, um, which I thought was quite an interesting look. Um, neither here nor there, that's the uh, end of that. So that's how you finish your braiding. Um, you could, of course, at the start and finish just leave a long tail and create a sort of a tassel almost if you wanted to i guess i'm not quite sure how you do that but i'm sure it's possible um right so let's talk about the last little bit which is adding your snap to your flap and bear in mind that i've actually added some extra decoration to my flap um, and that's all fine it just wanted to match the inside um and that's the beauty of this pattern is that you can actually add as much decoration as you want so the first thing I'm going to do is mark the center of the flap and I know that that is three and three quarter inches from one or the other side it's not a big drama I'm just making that mark sort of centrally along the flap and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my flap down to the point where it sits nice and straight with the side of the purse so make sure that your sides are matched and I'm going to use my finger to feel where the snap is below and I can feel that it's just there so I'm just going to put a mark on that center line where my snap needs to go 
I'm not going to give a measurement for this because it will depend on how you fold it, how thick your faux leather is. And if I give you an, an exact measurement, I think this is about three quarter inches away from the edge. It is three quarters inches away from the edge. And most of mine have been three quarter inch away from the edge. However, I've had one or two that have been just a fraction closer because I've made them with much thicker faux leather. So it just kind of impacts slightly. So it's always better to just do it by feel um, to make sure that you've um, got what you need where you want it. So I'm going to make my hole for my the second half of my snap. and I'll go away and fit my snap. Um, there's, I've, I've loaded videos, there's a couple of links for videos so you can see two different sorts of snaps or you can use a plastic cam snap, um, but follow the manufacturer's instructions for your snap. Um, so I'm gonna go away and fit that now. There we have it, our completed wallet. So we have, I've just added a bit of decoration to the front, we have our Bit of coin slot in the back, our paper money slot, and our card slots. And this is such an easy wallet to be able to um, customize. I've added Decaville into this one, so it's a little bit stiffer, um, but I've done some without. And I'll just show you some of the other samples that I've made so you can kind of get an idea of other things you can do. This one's obviously got a, a bit of a cutout on the front and some reverse applique. Um, and a double row of, of braiding around the outside. Um, this one I added, um, I did a, an inlay on the main panel. I didn't add the zipper. Um, this one is going to somebody that I know won't use the zipper part. So um, it's going as a gift. So using two different sorts of faux leather. And this was um, a no braider, so it's obviously sewn around the outside. This one, I was the one I used with the fabulous faux leather. And this one's got um, two millimeter waxed cotton cording around the outside. So it's a much bolder look, uh, much, much more solid. Again, exactly the same. This one has Decaville in it as well. So I've got the card slots and the money slot. But it gives a very different look, a much more rustic look to it. Um, here we go, just a simple green with just the thinner braiding. This is one millimetre braiding again. This one doesn't have any Decaville, so it's a lot softer. And all kind of colour coded, this one, so all matching. Very simple. This was my um, original one, which has the three millimetre or two millimetre um, flat leather braiding around the outside. Again, all the same details, just gives a different look with the with the leather braiding or the fat faux le flat faux leather braiding. Um, this was a slightly different faux leather braiding. This came from eBay um, and it's a bit thicker. So, but I did a, a curved um, flap on this one and I did some reverse applique um, circles uh, the only thing is when I was doing it I got a bit carried away made the entire panel then realized I hadn't put a zipper in um, so actually added a zipper sideways on which just gives me enough of a purse to be able to put some coins in it's not too deep so and um, to be able to pop some coins in there and then you have card slots and money slots so that's another different look. That's an easy way to decorate something. Just doing some reverse applique. Now this one I used um, ribbon. This was quarter inch ribbon, which is probably a little bit too big. Um, eighth of an inch ribbon would probably have been better, but I didn't have any, but I wanted to see if ribbon would work and it does. Um, again, this one hasn't got Decaville. So it's quite soft. You can circumfold it if I want to. Um, but once the card, once your cards are sitting in, it actually feels really quite soft, really quite sturdy. This one doesn't have a zipper pocket on it because I know where that one's going to. Um, and last but not least, this one, um, I added some weaving. This is my 
as many of you know i love weaving and this is what i this is a, called a twill weave it's done with eighth of an inch strips um, it's quite fiddly it took me longer to do the weave than it did to make the entire purse i added an overlay to the zipper um, and it's this one's got decabellin as well so um, other than that it's completely plain inside so it's all about the weaving so this is a wallet that you can literally customize to suit your needs to suit how you feel to suit your customer there's so many um, ways you can embellish you can literally do whatever you want with it great fun quick easy and one of those things that's just kind of and it's, it's a it's a plain palette for you to be creative with so i hope you've enjoyed um watching the videos and i hope you'll enjoy making your brady whether you make the brady or the no braider um and share me what you make come and visit me um in my facebook group bags by bags or style pattern and sewing group so long group um where you'll find lots of free patterns um and just enjoy sewing thank you